Skin testing. Skin testing is the preferred method to check for hay fever. Antihistamines should be discontinued three to five days before skin testing. In our office, we do skin testing on the back, avoiding needles. In children and adults, plastic devices with prongs are gently pressed against the skin, pricking the skin, followed by reading the results in 20 to 30 minutes, looking for wheels and red flares on the skin. In children, we recommend using an anesthetic cream that is applied on the back 30 to 60 minutes before testing to further minimize anxiety from the test. In adults, a second stage of testing is also done to weed out allergies that did not show up on the first test. This is called intradermal testing, requiring tiny doses of vaccines that are given under the skin and again read within 20 to 30 minutes. Avoidance is the first and major treatment in the management of hay fever. If one avoids being exposed to pollens or allergens, then there are no symptoms. Some common ways to avoid symptoms include staying indoors when the pollen counts are high, especially early in the day, keeping air conditioning on and windows up in the car, keeping windows shut and running the air conditioning at home, and changing air filters every two months. There are two types of medications, preventative and symptom treating. The preventative medications include intranasal steroids, which include brands like Flonase, Nasonex, Omnaris, Qnasal, etc. These nasal sprays, when taken regularly, work by preventing symptoms from occurring. Symptom treating medications contain prescription nasal sprays like Astapro, Patnase, or Astlin, which reduce symptoms locally in the nasal passages. Oral antihistamines include over-the-counter medications like Claritin, Zyrtec, Allegra, and Benadryl, and prescription antihistamines like Zyzol and Clarinex. Oral antihistamines help in reducing allergy symptoms.